Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to use global temp table in SSIS. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to use global temp table in SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Brahm Mateja Kompala and he was asking about the global temp table he was having issues in one of the SSIS package so I thought to make a video on this one as I have not created any video on this topic so far so maybe it can be helpful for others as well so let's jump to the demo so I have created this particular SQL script and I will share this script with you so you can download it and you can use it in your SSIS package so we are just creating a global temporary table TMP holiday here so if the temporary table will be there so we will drop it and then we will recreate it and then we are inserting US 2022 holiday list into this particular table so let me just execute this query this created a global temporary table TMP holiday inserted 21 holidays into this particular table so I can access the data here so there are 21 records so this is how we can access the global temporary table okay all temporary tables are created in the temp db either it's a local temporary table or a global temporary table okay so now let me try to export the data from the global temporary table into a csv file so what we will do we will create the global temporary table and insert the data in execute sql task and then we will use the data flow task to fetch the data from the global temporary table and we will export the data to a csv file all right so let me just copy this particular query from here and open the SSIS package so this is my blank SSIS package so first of all let me just drag and drop the execute sql task into the control flow window and i can call this execute sql task as create temp table and then i can configure it i can right click on it and click on edit and under connection i can make a new connection I already have a connection to the work database so I will select this connection and I can click OK. Now in the SQL statement I can paste the query that I copied from the SSMS. So this will create a global temporary table and will insert 21 records into the global temporary table. So I can click OK. OK. Now I can drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and then I can connect execute SQL task with the data flow task and now I can configure the data flow task because we are going to read data from a SQL server table so we will be using the OLEDB source so I can just drag and drop OLEDB source into the control flow window and now I can right click and configure the OLEDB source from data access mode I will select SQL command and then I can write the select query here so I already have a select query written so I can copy this query and I can paste it here and now I can click on columns to see the list of available columns and I can uncheck any column if I do not want but I want all columns in this case and now I can click OK and now because I want to export the data to a CSV file so we will be using the flat file destination and we can connect the OLEDB source with the flat file destination and now we can configure the flat file destination I can click on edit and now click new to create a new connection manager I can call the connection manager as flat file I want to export the data to the D files location so I can go to that location and I can create an empty file. So I want to create an empty file here so I can just right click and click on new text document and I can call it as holiday.csv and now from the SSIS package I can just browse that file. I will select csv files here and I can select this file holiday.csv click open I want the header information to be exported so I will select this option column names in the first data row and now I will go to the columns and in the columns the column delimiter I will use as pipe because I want the file as pipe delimited file and now I will click ok you can click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns and now you can click ok so we have configured the SSIS package and if you will execute the SSIS package right now so it will fail due to one of the reason that I will tell you so now you can see that this execute SQL task created a global temporary table and inserted some data into the global temporary table but while accessing the data using the OLEDB source the package got failed and it is saying that invalid object name hash has TMP holidays so it is not able to access the table although the table was created 
so how we can fix this issue and can access the global temporary table across the whole SSIS package so what we need to do because we are using this OLDB connection to fetch the data from the SQL server table so we need to go to the properties of this particular connection and then there is a property retain same connection so uh, by default this is false so we need to set this property to true and now we can save the SSIS package and now we can re-execute the SSIS package so right now it is saying that uh, some there are some validations so we can just open the data flow task and we can just recheck it so this is saying that the table does not exist so what we can do we can go back to the SQL Server Management Studio and we can just recreate this particular temporary table so I can just recreate it now the table got recreated and now I can just reopen the OLEDB source and then click on column so now it access the global temporary table so I can click on OK and then after saving the SSIS package I can just click on start button so this should export the data now so now the SSIS package ran fine it created a global temporary table in execute SQL task and then it used the same global temporary table in another task in the data flow task and then exported the, the data to a CSV file so if you see that file holyday.csv file so it should have 21 records in it so let me open this file in text pad so there are 21 records in this particular table 21 are the actual records and one the first line is the header information so it seems like the data got exported correctly and we were able to access the global temporary table across the SSIS package so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much